Yo, 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 big Kish back up in here. We about to go over how Kendrick Lamar just humiliated Drake one last time. Shouts out to Fantastic Hip Hop. You know I'm going to leave a link in the description. All I need for y'all to do is like and subscribe. 69% of y'all that watch my content are not subscribed. You see that number's going down a little bit. But just hit the subscribe button. Over here, we don't like holding y'all. We don't like pausing. You know what I'm saying? Without further ado, let's get, get, get it. Now, somehow, even after everything we've already seen, we have gotten another Kendrick Lamar related announcement that is just raising the bar all over again as most recently we have gotten reports from some of the most credible sources the entire entertainment industry has to offer about what is next for Kendrick Lamar and specifically what we are going to see from him in terms of a tour and now with this announcement and the timing of it as it was just reported that Drake's It's a Blur tour became the highest grossing tour in hip hop history over Kendrick Lamar's Big Steppers tour after its second leg's revenue was reported. It really seems like Kendrick and his camp may have leaked this new information purposefully because as this was seemingly the only major record and semi-victory that Drake has had reported pretty much this entire year. Once again, Kendrick has found the most fitting way to stomp on another one of his biggest rival's records and this time around. Kendrick has really outdone himself because with what we know about this tour already, it is setting itself up to go down in history as one of the biggest tours hip hop has ever seen and one of the biggest- <laughs> Bro, he look like he's scratching his neck. Boy, that, that, I don't know what that is. I'm sure it's expensive though. It should look like it's itching him. Hold on. <laughs> Go down in history as one of the ah, biggest shit, tours hip hop has ever seen and one of the shit, biggest itch, in all of modern music. And now in order to find how why, let's take a look yeah, at the report that has come out about this, which is from Bloomberg, which when it comes to important entertainment related news, off rip, this publication would not be reporting on this if they didn't have a credible source telling them this information. So I would say that this report is rooted in some sort of strong sense of truth. And now the way this came out was because the major publication was reporting on the trouble centered around Coachella 2024. Five, which just to give some context on the absolute disastrous state that Coachella is in. After a 2023, which was an absolute horror show, as the festival lost money because Frank Ocean did the worst thing one of the most anticipated headliners in festival history could ever do, which was to back out. And then in 2024, despite one of the best sets in years from Tyler the Creator, the rest of the lineup around him really lacked the star power and performance ability that has made Coachella the marquee and premier event in music. And now because of this, what the point of this article is and what it's telling us is that Coachella is swinging for the fences this year as they are seemingly asking the biggest acts in the entire industry to perform at the festival. And now first up, they asked none other than Rihanna who declined this, which makes sense as she does not really seem to be focused on music as a whole anymore. And in addition, to Rihanna and who they were really banging on to get for this festival was Kendrick Lamar. But now with Kendrick, he also declined and not just because he feels like he's bigger than the show or because he is better than doing a music festival at this point in his career, but actually because it we got bigger things to do, man. We ain't got time for Coachella right now. We got other things to do right now, like Super Bowl, baby. It is reported that he has a tour lined up and not just any type of tour, as the article directly says. Both passed according to several people familiar with the matter. Lamar is scheduled to perform at the 2025 Super Bowl and then plans a tour of major stadiums. Rihanna, head of a growing business empire, didn't need the money or the exposure. And now with this piece of information, if this is true, this is genuinely insane because Kendrick Lamar will not be playing at arenas like he has on his past tours for the last decade, but he is going to be playing stadiums, which just for reference, these are the types of size differences in these venues and uh -oh. everyone in the music business Man. knows when it comes to touring, things do not get any bigger and more important than stadiums for artists. And now when we look at the significance of this, I don't think people have put into perspective just how important it is that Kendrick will be doing a stadium tour because just off the the bat. When we look at the current state of the entire music industry, handling crowds of nearly 100,000 people and having the catalog to perform in one of the biggest spaces an artist ever can is something that few people in the entire business could even pull off if they tried. As even when we look at somebody like Drake, 
Even with all of his major tours, which have been joint efforts with the likes of people like Lil Wayne, J. Cole, The Migos, and 21 Savage over the years, he has never even attempted to enter the biggest realm an artist can be in, and when it comes to names who handle their own stadium tours in the current music industry, the list is very short, as the only artists who have successful full-on stadium runs are The Weeknd, Beyonce, and Taylor Swift, which is truly a lead company, and now even in the entire lineage of hip-hop. While I'm happy for The Weeknd, man. Humble brother, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy for him. Travis Scott is selling out massive crowds in Europe and is playing in stadiums in select markets in the US like he did with SoFi Stadium in LA and like he will soon be doing at MetLife Stadium in the New York area. The only other recent stadium related event in hip hop between rappers was when Kanye and Drake had a joint concert in LA. And beyond this, there is no rapper who has ever done a solo tour throughout stadiums in the entire United States, as when we look at the history of rappers even playing in stadiums. The only times we have seen MCs hit the road and full-on play these massive venues was when Eminem did a joint tour with Rihanna in 2014, and when Jay-Z and Beyonce did their On The Run Parts 1 and 2 tour series in 2014 and 2019 respectively. And also, Jay-Z did a joint tour with Justin Timberlake in 2013. So understanding the context of this, and literally seeing that even with arguably the biggest rappers of all time in Jay-Z and Eminem, that they both needed joint tours to do this, with Kendrick Lamar on the verge of pulling something off that no other rapper in the over 50 year history of hip hop has ever done. I think it's safe to say- Man, dot setting records, man. You know how when people say, yeah, let's set the record straight. He really could say that. He's setting records straight, man. Say that this will without a doubt become one thing the biggest clear. tour we ever see in hip hop history. And beyond this, the most commanding and powerful display of dominance we see from an MC. Because with every rapper in the history of hip hop, from Prime Jay-Z, Eminem, 50 Cent, Kanye West, and countless others, nobody has ever been able to reach this pinnacle of live performance that Kendrick Lamar will be showing us very soon. And now with Kendrick, considering the momentum and popularity he will have and what the Super Bowl stimulus package will do to boost his profile and his brand, and I am sure based on the way he does things, he will really see the ultimate return from the Super Bowl as he will end up probably having one of the most excited and beloved Super Bowl halftime shows ever. All of these factors are going to raise his popularity to a level that we have never seen. And as a result, the demand to see him will be at an all time high. And now with Kendrick Lamar preparing an entire tour and with the article saying that this series of shows will be happening after he does the Super Bowl and knowing that he declined Coachella because of this. We now also seemingly have confirmation that Kendrick Lamar will go on the road starting this spring and will be on tour this summer. And now as all artists release what their newest album is, usually a few months or even weeks before the tour, this information now gives us an even better idea of when this new Kendrick Lamar album that we all can't wait to listen to will actually come out. As now, based on this timeline of events, it only makes sense for this project to come out in between the winter when the Super Bowl is, and during the spring before this tour, which means that this album should be releasing anytime between February or March of 2025. And now knowing this tour is coming and understanding the momentum the Super Bowl brings to an artist, I am going to lock in this prediction that we will end up getting a single on Super Bowl weekend, followed by an album shortly after that in the coming weeks, and now with all of this, the fact that Kendrick Lamar's generation yeah, they said it wouldn't be good for him to come out with the album before the uh, NFL Super Bowl halftime performance. So yeah, we yeah we like yeah we be look, gonna be looking out for this album after. Run and claim to rap dominance has only raised its stakes even more. As now, right after the greatest performance in battle ever, also possibly becoming the first rapper to sweep the Grammys with diss songs, then doing the Super Bowl halftime show right after that, and then releasing one of the most anticipated albums in all of hip hop history. Somehow, after breaking record after record, if Kendrick is going to celebrate what really may be the most powerful run we have ever seen from a rapper by playing in stadiums around the United States and probably the entire world, the heights and expectations of where all of this is going have only raised higher and now at this point, I hope no other rapper has even thought that they will be able to rival Kendrick for months and maybe even years to come because the way it stands right now and with the way everything is shaping out to be, Kendrick is not just by far the biggest rapper in the world, but he is really on the path to having one of the most dominant years any artist has this century in 2025, as the power and pull Kendrick has over the people has not just made him the face of rap, but based on everything he has lined up, if he plays his cards right, he will become the face of music for the time being. So now with all of this said, let me know, what do you think of this Kendrick Lamar news and how excited are you for the chance to see him live in the near future? Now I can't wait to hear what you have to say, and now if you want to see how is Kendrick Lamar- Yeah, I can't wait, man. This is a beautiful thing that's going on, you know what I mean? 
I'm real happy for the brother. I'm happy for the people like weekend, the weekend. People that's, you know, positive, ain't with the drama, you know what I mean? Ain't trying to get started. Ain't got no ghost right. It's like, <laughs> like I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Y'all Drake, Drake, uh, Drake people out there, man. Drake cool, man. Y'all don't know that's that's my cousin for real. I don't be telling people that, but yeah, Drake my cousin, man. I just be playing and stuff. But yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all ready for this album? Y'all ready for the Super Bowl performance? Big Kish signing out. I'm gone, y'all.